A fast food employee wasn't going to let him get away. How some quick thinking and a whole lot of bravery helped her chase down an armed robber. It was a wild scene today just before an Arby's opened up for the day in Sterling Heights. Now it happened at a location at Van Dyke and Plumbrook and Steve Garagiola spoke to the woman who chased him down. Before the restaurant even opened this morning, there was a knock at the back door. An employee thought it must be another employee coming to work. It was a man with a gun. He robbed him, and then he took off running for these woods. I was nervous when the gentleman walked in, and because he was shifting back and forth and a little edgy. But when he took out the gun, I knew he meant business. The robber took off running with the cash into these woods behind the restaurant, but he didn't get far. Three employees chased him down. Manager Claudette moved with the quickness of a jungle cat as she leapt into her burgundy tercel to give chase. I don't know. In a frenzied moment of knowing candor, I looked toward Jarrell and Tino and uttered a stirring call to action. Dem Arby's boys, wheels up. Ski skirt. She drove around the woods to the back of a senior center, jumped the curb, and cornered the robber with her car while the other two employees chased him into the river. We were nearing the river's edge when I looked toward D&T and wondered how much more amphibian than man would we need to be to properly trounce this malefactor in an aquatic altercation that will no doubt take every ounce of me and perhaps take more ounces than D&T even have in their pints. I don't know. But with one last look of a warrior's accord, we vaulted, vaulted higher than Meatloaf's motorcycle bursting through the devilish graveyard stony sod. And just like the loaf, we soared. And just like the loaf, we sang. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. When the night is over like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone, gone, gone. I asked the woman who led the chase if it occurred to her at any point that it was a bad idea to chase an armed robber into the woods. My store is my turf, and I'm sworn to protect it. Yeah. And for all the criminals and holduppers out there fixing to mess with Claudette and Dem Arby's boys, let this be a lesson to you all, ha 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 ha. For we are more bonded than the gorilla glue betwixt the hull and wings of a Folkwolf trifugal model 148th scale. We are more dedicated to the servitude and defense of our meaty HQ than Chitara and Lion-O defending Thundercat's lair. And I am snarf ready, ho. For when the aggressors arise and try to inflict evil against the kingdom of beef and shed, so too will a band of mighty heroes arise. Heroes hell bent on protecting the curly fries and jalapeno bites of honor. Paladins of pork dead set on defending the buttermilk chicken and buffalo sliders of this cheesy citadel. For we, DAB, will fight against the mumras and muggers of the world, bound not by fear, but bound by brotherly love. And in the timeless words of Fredro Star, Sonny Caesar, Big DS, and Sticky Fingers, we will proclaim, slam, da 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 da, -da. we them Arby's boys, slam, da da da. -da. Da, da, da. We them Arby's boys. Brave, daring, foolish, maybe all of the above. Bottom line tonight is that nobody at the restaurant was hurt, and those two men are in police custody. All right, I'm sure you'll be following up. Steve Gargiola, live for us tonight. Thank you, Steve. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. When the night is over, like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone, gone, gone.